Now, joining us on News Across Nigeria to discuss how best to secure worship centers, schools, and other areas all over the country, indeed the entire country, is Mr. Dixon Osaji, beg your pardon, a security expert. We welcome Thank to you. News Across Nigeria. Um, so we have two incidents coming one after the other, on Saturday, on Sunday, an abduction and a mass killing, which is a massacre. Our condolences, obviously, and sympathy to every family that has been affected by that terrible tragedy, and some of whom we saw in our report are still in hospital, and the people of Ondo State and Nigerians as well, because we're all impacted by this. Yeah. How best do you think worship centers can be protected because it seems that they have become a target an abduction on saturday a mass gun attack an explosives attack on sunday wow olibide uh, what transpired in our is a disturbing situation uh, i think uh, this uh, for me I, I just believe the devil has no hands in this uh what happened is an act of the nigerian devils uh i call it nigerian devils because we are suffering from multi-dimensional security threats here in our country uh from the east west south and north and now they are taking uh this to soft target to our churches i truly i believe i, I agree with the uh, His royal majesty the only of uh as I say that uh, the, the, the intelligence of our national intelligence uh, is, is, is dissipating, and that is the truth, because uh, we need to start uh, looking on how to overhaul our natural, national uh, intelligence uh, uh, system, and also the Nigerian police uh, proactive mechanism as well. I learned it was a two minutes drive from the church, uh, two kilometers drive from the church. Maximum, it shouldn't take the police more than three minutes or five minutes to inbox and get to that. You mean the uh, police station? Yeah, two uh, minute drive. Yeah, from yeah, the yeah. So maximum, in, in yeah, I, yeah, I had expected the general police to respond with speed and momentum. Even at, at that, they should have gone after this uh, unnecessary human being who think they can take the life of little children. For me, I think uh, the Nigerian state has failed those people. Our security system has failed those people. But now we have to go back to the church. Our advice can uh, to uh, you know make it a necessity. Uh, all worship centers must carry out a risk and vulnerability assessment of their church. You don't just believe in divine protection. I am a Christian. Oh, yes, I believe in divine protection. Believing in divine protection does not mean you allow uh, yourself to be vulnerable to the enemy line. Your so vulnerability. Are, you saying, are you saying that we have come to the point now where the churches should take physical measures oh, yeah. to protect the buildings and the areas of worship? Because the state of security of Nigeria is on a high rise, uh, the threat level is on a high rise, and uh, killings here and there, you don't need to wait uh, for this threat to get home, to get at you. So what they need to do is to carry out an assessment of the worship center. First of all, you must remember the worship center is a public center. Uh, you know, any environment or any public, any public space that houses more than 10 Nigerians must have their surveillance equipment, must have their barrier equipment, bar barrier equipment the bullet system, the uh, delay mechanism, and the access control mechanism as well. The doors and the windows must be fortified against uh, this uh, uh, criminal invasion. If you keep on uh, relaxing your church uh, security architecture, I tell you, uh, most of this criminal element will see uh, the church as a soft target. Now, what type of security arrangements, aside from what you just mentioned, do you think should be put in place in, in, the, uh, in these areas? Okay, Olivia, you know, uh, whenever an incident happens, we like centralizing our problem. We we'll see governors running to Abuja to go and uh, cry out to the president. No, every governor has voted into powers to protect their state. Every governor are receiving security votes to protect their state. What they need to do is to start carrying out an assessment of their state. Look at the, the, uh, uh, the loopholes, carry out crime mapping. You know, when you carry out crime mapping, you assert, you'll be able to ascertain uh, the, the projection or the criminal uh, activities that might uh, be, be, that the state might uh, face. So for me, I think uh, the governors must come back to the drawing board, leave Abuja alone, come back to your state, get your security votes, begin to utilize those security votes, put in technological application on the, uh, uh, in the state, put in uh, surveillance equipment, ensure that every public, uh, uh, what's it called, public uh, uh, facilities are well protected from criminal invasion. Because let me tell you, criminals don't like delay. Now, when you put in delay mechanism, it would, take those, it would have taken those criminals a lot of time to penetrate, then the police would have arrived. But here, there is no any delay mechanism. So they just break in, get, uh, hit their target, and what happened? They run away, and there is no, uh, uh, ch 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 no pursuit and chase by our security agent. So going forward, I will advise all house of worship to fortify their house of worship.
please, let's start doing that. You know, make sure you protect those worshippers from the hands of this unnecessary human being. If you don't do that, don't blame the state because we, uh, the Criminal Proceeding Act, Section 30, grant gives uh, property owners, you know, the right to protect their own properties. So yes. we must start looking at uh, uh, protecting uh, the, uh, the house of worship, not crying to the government any, at any given time. These perpetrators are suspected to be to be foreigners. How are they getting unchecked across the borders? Vulnerability of our national borders plays a very big role to that because uh, the last time I checked, I think we have about 1,400 uh, illegal routes that most of these uh, irregular migrants are penetrating to our national borders. So a borderless nation is a known nation. If we want to get our security right, we need to start, you know, uh, you know, fortify our national borders. Most of these guys, what they do, they strike, go to your government space and take shelter. So we need to make your government space or governable for these criminal elements. What kind of response are you expecting from the state government and the security agencies and the federal government in the short term because we can expect that since these people so far seem to have escaped uh, without any without getting caught they've made clean their getaway mm. right okay that they're also watching to see how Nigeria will respond, we'll respond to their so how yeah. important is it that the state government the federal government and security agencies respond to this particular incident and all the incidents that have come to a head at this point and what kind of response do you think will send a strong message so it doesn't occur again? Uh, first of all, we, have, uh, we are practicing a centralized policing system. Uh, I pray one day we decentralize our policing system. Where we decentralize our policing system, then security will start from the grassroots. Are you with me? Uh, Amoteco was set up some few years back, you know, to curtail these uh, criminal activities. I think they are sleeping on duty as, as it is right now. Because the only sense Amoteco was uh, uh, formed was to ensure the support of the Nigerian police and our security agents. Then the military are overwhelmed, uh, curtailing criminal activities all over the country. The police are engaged in some uh, uh, private uh, security uh, uh, policing system and the uh, government policing system. So they the Amoteco should try and support the police in intelligence gathering. Then the administration of criminal justice system needs to uh, come to play. We, we, our, our, our criminal justice system, I think, is failing us because sometimes most of these criminal elements, they commit crime and they go scot-free. And that is why I've won before now that we must stop certifying crime. I've seen a lot of situations where state governors try to pet a bandit, give them money, don't strike. You are certifying crime. You need to get rid of these guys. Identify these guys that are making the Nigerian state of governable and take them out. Let us have space because the pri primary uh, uh, priority of a state of, of a government of the government is the protection of lives and property. If now, you cannot protect my life and you cannot protect my property, I think uh, uh, the government is defeated. Now we saw in solving the crime, we saw the crime scene, which was an active crime scene. It was just happened moments after it happened. We had people there. We had there was there's what they call the contamination of a crime scene. So there's not. You cannot do proper forensic analysis to get all the, all the clues that the experts do. Uh, how, why, why does that happen? And how can that be, Fantastic. be checked? Fantastic. Fantastic. Why are you playing the uh, video? I, I saw the vice president even at the crime scene. Uh, you know, just what we call crime scene preserv preservation procedures. When an incident transpired in a crime scene, nobody gets to that crime scene until all evidence are collected in that crime scene. Physical evidence, uh, technological evidence, mechanical evidence, scientific evidence must be collected in that crime scene before any person, even the president, has no right to go into a crime scene. When you go into a crime scene, you have polluted every evidence or any evidence that this, uh, this uh, the investigator needs to, you know, investigate. Yeah, because right? criminals at times, they, even, they can even drop a card, they can even drop a key, something that That is deception. Show. That is deception. That is left uh, uh, for the Nigerian police to unravel. Okay. Okay, um, so thank you so much for, we, well, I wish we had more time, obviously, and um, we thank you for your, your views and your expert opinions on thank the you, issue. Thank you,